We are on our way to Burksville right now. Uh, I told the local farmers I'm meeting for steaks, so we're meeting for steaks. I'm a little bit late, but we should be there. I know Austin's behind me. I think he's, he's back in more too. I think he was picking up some parts at the store and he's gonna be late too. But I think Jake's already here for here, and I'm not sure if Clutch is coming or not. I don't think Stevie is coming either. But uh, I'm booking it. <laughs> Hopefully the cops not around. We're doing 85 mile an hour. Got the tail mirrors out. Extra protection. We'll see what happens. Oh, there's Jake. Oh, never mind. Jake's not there yet. Bye bye. I swear these lights never change. Yo, what's up, Boston? Nothing much. Jake meeting us here? Yep. Looks like he's been trucking grain today. Yeah. You ready to get some steaks? Yeah. What you getting? Steak. Last one to the restaurant pays bill, pays the bill. Oh, 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 oh. I'm I'm here. I'm here already. Dude, you're last. What do you mean I'm last? You're last. We were already here. No, Jake doesn't know what he's talking about. I want me and him were we were standing here and then you ran around the corner and we're like, oh I'm here. Hey, I was I was on the porch first, okay? That counts. Jake, I will walk across this table and I will beat you. So uh, the other day I was talking to Melissa and I had my toe mirrors out and uh, she was like, you, you look pretty sexy driving your truck. And I'm like, what? I'm like, what? And, and I was, it was the weirdest comment ever. And then the other day I roll up and she's just acting normal to me, like just normal. And I have my toe mirrors in. Day after that, I'm like, okay. I put my toe mirrors out and she's like, hey, you want to go get ice cream? And I'm like, it's the toe mirrors. Austin, I see you already got it figured out. Oh, yeah. So I've been driving around with my toe mirrors out, and then all the girls are late, waving at me now. I think what? I figured it out. This is what men have been trying to figure out for the past, like, thousand years. It's the trick, huh? Yeah. Toe mirrors. Toe mirrors. Who knew? Austin, fold them in. See what happens. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for Spencer. I know. I you know. Gotta say, boys. How do the semi mirrors do? Um, well, y I mean, I guess you could say that you get plenty of attention, but I'm not exactly sure it's the kind of attention you want. Oh. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. Although that truck looks really good on that trailer. It does. This is true. You guys feel the ground shaking? <sighs> what? Is there an earthquake? The table's shaking. Oh, great. You must have done something. Do you have too much coffee? What? I don't what know. You don't you guys about? see it shaking? Grant, no. what are you doing? My, uh, the table is shaking. It's like... Uh, okay, okay, whatever. I, I think there's an earthquake going on, but we're all going to die here, and you guys are going to act like it's nothing. Probably, yeah. So, Grant, the uh, I, I've got that old uh, 71 Chevy service truck for sale in my grandpa's. I was looking for a service truck. It's, uh, hey, how come you're just addressing Grant? Maybe I'll It's your grandpa's? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's old. I, I don't know. It's got probably about 260,000 miles on it. Really not that bad if you think about it. How long? Oh. He's he's had it in there for a long time then, right? Because I haven't seen that thing out there. Yeah, I don't I don't know the last time it drove anywhere. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, you got to pump the gas to get it started. The last time it even ran, um, I'm I'm sure it runs. I just the tires are probably got a lot of like uh, what's it called when the tires sit too long? You know, they kind of dry get, rot. Yeah, they get some dry rot and. Yeah, I I've been looking for a service truck. I'd be down to take a look at that after we get done eating. All right, yeah, it's not too far from here, so. Okay. Take a look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll pull over there. Austin, Sounds like a pretty solid I, truck. I know you're not buying one, but uh, feel free to tag along, I guess. Hmm. I might. I got a lot of work to do. All right. Yeah, I've got Dad out in the field working for me today. Oh, yeah? How much you pay him? Oh, free 99 You know how it is. Free 99 That sounds yeah. like a pretty darn good deal. Waiter, get over here. Man, Ooh. that was good. That was yeah. a good steak. Best steak in Great. the county right here. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I and I, I got the bill, guys. I'll cover it. I got you guys. Awesome. Nice, Grant. Yeah, you're you're welcome. All right, let's roll. Remember, boy, keep them toe mirrors out. Hey, Grant. Yeah. Uh, so I suppose you'll go ahead and follow me, but uh, you I you know the location the the, the barn the location of which I can't tell you, but I mean oh. it's not important anymore. Yeah. Yep. 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 I know. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, uh I'll yep. tell I'll tell the vlog. Okay. Yeah, guys. I can't uh, record this part. It's kind of an undisclosed location, so I'm gonna have to cut it until we get to uh, until we get to the barn, guys. Sorry. We even had to kick Austin off because we couldn't tell him where the location is. Okay, we're here. Perfect. You can take your blindfold off. So it's in here, Jake. Right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, let's go. Right in the barn. You got the key to unlock it? Uh, hell yeah, it's somewhere here on the. Which one is it? There's so many keys. Hold on. Uh, this one? Nope. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. This is clean. Oh, yeah. It looks That's like you guys have classic having... two-tone. I love the two-tone color. 
You guys haven't even taken this out in the winter, it looks like. There's n there's no rust on this thing. Oh my <laughs> well, gosh. It's in, it's in pretty mint condition. Got some BF Goodrich tires that don't even look like they're worn down at all. Oh my gosh, looks like they have a 105% tread life. <laughs> yeah, they're looking a little better than uh, last last I saw them. I, I thought they were a lot worse off than that. Yeah. Huh. yeah I, I no, think your grandpa uh... probably replaced them, though. So, on the service bed, looks like you got an air compressor. Oh, you got a light bar on it. He's got a light bar on here. Yep. Two yep. light bars. Okay. Doesn't have a gooseneck, obviously. Three light bars. Has a welder in here, a Lincoln welder. Borg, nice. Yep. Yep, you got all these side doors open up to put your tools and stuff too. Okay. All that works fine. Uh, they're supposed to be waterproof. I don't know if they are or not, but supposed to be. I gotcha. Do all Chevys come with this this bed for when they break down? Is that just a Chevy thing? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, in 1970, they realized that they really needed to design a better uh, a better repair. So option customers can go more guys. than 50 miles or so. Exactly. Without, you know, okay. so they were like, you know, when you finally pull over and you you know you roll to a stop on the side of the road, you can actually just take care of it yourself. You know what I mean? Makes sense. Makes sense. It's like, what that? What's that? You broke a, you broke a belt? Easy. Fix it. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Guys, that was a joke. I need to make a four joke um, so people don't hate me too much. Well, I'd hate to say it. I only weigh 130 pounds at best, but uh, I think I weigh more than those new aluminum bodies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think? You want to give it a start? Yeah. I got the key. I'll fire here. up. See what happens. All right. Seems like she's not getting enough fuel. I'm just gonna pump the gas a little bit, right? That's what you usually do. Yep, yep. You gotta pump the gas. Oh, she fired. There you go. There she goes. Okay. This is do a rumble. It's got a plow mount on here too. Did he have plow at one point, or was he planning on putting a plow on? Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if he ever really used it for plowing, but I guess it's got the mount on there. Uh, now you know what? Now that I think about it. When I was real young, I might have seen him use it once or twice. Man, I absolutely love this two-tone color he went with. I love this color. I wish, honestly, oh, yeah. I wish they had the box as garlic, because that'd look, that'd look so good. I agree. Uh, it's kind of strange that it's not. Yeah. And especially, oh, what's this trailer back here? Is it enclosed? Oh, Holy this... crap. Yeah, yeah. Um... This isn't near as old as a truck. He bought this, oh uh, gosh, I don't 90s? know. 90s? Is this a 90s? Yeah, mid 90s, I think, is when he okay. picked this thing up. And uh, I don't know what's in it. I've, I honestly haven't looked at this thing, but if it's in here, I'm going to say it's for sale. You, you want a trailer? <laughs> it's. You don't know what. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. We can pull it forward. Sure. And, uh, see if we can get in there. I don't think there's anything in it. I mean, yeah. Okay, hey, we gotta uh, pull that. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'm just gonna give my grandma a call real quick to see if she, uh, because I just noticed as you're pulling this forward, there's a lock on it, and I oh. don't know the combination in there. So I'm gonna give her a call see if she happens to know it. Okay. I, I doubt it. Grandpa was pretty secretive, but I'll, I'll find out here real quick. Okay. Sounds good. I'll be in the truck. Find out. Well. No, I mean I talked to her and she gave she gave me a couple combinations to try here. We can give them a try, but I I don't think that they're gonna be it. That doesn't sound like something Grandpa would do. Okay. She gave me birthdays of uh, of me and, and my cousin, and knowing my Grandpa, he wouldn't know my birthday. Oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. How we'll many see. cousins we'll did you have? Oh, 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 oh my gosh, too many. I think, so my my dad has eight brothers and sisters. My mom has Holy three. Crap. Okay, so you can just imagine how big the family spans out from there. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, no, no, this is an unlock, and then I don't have any bolt cutters with me, but she said there shouldn't be anything in there, but if there is anything in there, it must not be important. So uh, you can just go ahead and keep it if there happens to be anything sitting in there. Feel free. Okay, what? So, what were you guys asking for this again? Well, for the trailer, probably six thousand, and uh, the truck up there, I oh, about double that, about twelve. Okay, okay. You care if I take a look around and just see and take a little more luck before I decide? Oh yeah, look at anything you need. Do whatever you need to do. Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys noticed this. First of all, the trailer. When I pulled this thing out. First of all, the trailer tires aren't flat, okay? Second of all, the trailer pulled heavy. There's something in this. And the trailer tires aren't flat, 
but you can tell it's squatting a little bit. There's a little squat to them. And I went around and measured the PSI on the trailers and the PSI is where it should be. But yet there's a little squat to the trailer. So that tells me there's something heavy in here. There's something heavy that could be worth a lot of money. And then the truck itself is 12K. Okay, trailer, yeah, itself 6K. That's good. That's it, I'm overpaying maybe a tad bit. But then the truck itself, truck's a solid 12K. It, it's a classic. It's There's legit no rust on it no rust underneath this and this is usable it has utility for us we're going to use it like crazy i'm thinking about taking it straight up so 12 6 so 18k 18k i know there's something in this thing there it, it pulled heavy i'm telling you there's uh there's something in here jake will take her 18k total yeah 18k that sounds fair to me okay that's a deal, man. All right, let's shake on it. Okay, okay well, Alrighty. I have, I think what I'm gonna do is leave my truck here and then drive this home as long as I can make it home. I might have to make a stop at the gas station, see what's up, but uh, I'm gonna take this straight home, man. Yeah, yeah, when you, I don't know how that tank is looking too, so when you get it there, um, you might shine a flashlight down in there a little bit, see if you can see in there. I, I, you might not be able to, but uh, you might put a little tank cleaner. It might be a little rusted up or something, I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's in good condition, but I'd hate for you to, you know, clog up your fuel lines and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll look into that one once I get there. Yeah, because that wouldn't be good. At least we no. know it's not clogged because it started up and I was able to operate it. But yeah, if there's rust yep. in there, that could that could be a mess. Yeah, but on the bright side, if you break down, I guess you can fix it pretty fast, so. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, well, hopefully Alrighty. I don't get any flats, but uh, we should be good. <laughs> Is there a spare tire in there? Or I guess you probably don't even know. I, I don't know. It's locked. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I, uh, if there was, I would tell you. But if there was, I'm know. not getting in there, I guess, till I get home. But okay, yeah. man, I appreciate it. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for uh, letting me know it was here. So I'll, uh, I'll, Jake, actually, I know this was a connection between your grandma and mother, but here's, uh, here's two in box for the, just for the connection, the hookup, man, for the sale. Because oh, this is great well, for me. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, no it. problem. Okay, right. I'm going to hit well, the road, Jake. I will see you yep. later. Let me know if the elevator gets any good grain prices. I'll be back. I got some grain to sell, man. All right, sounds good. See ya. Oh, and let me, you know, I'm curious. Let me know if there does happen to be anything in the back there. Let me know what it is because I'm really curious if there is anything. For sure. Sounds good, man. I'll see you later, Jake. All right. Yep, have a good one. There is definitely something in the back. This thing is heavy. I don't know if Jake was just being not that smart, just not trying to move the trailer, or like weigh the trailer around, or even trying to lift up this jack to see if there's anything in there. Man, there is something in there. It's pretty heavy. So we're gonna get this home as fast as possible. Hopefully we make it home, and then I'm gonna break open that lock, and we're gonna see what's in the back of there. Look at this. I mean, this is heavy. There's something in here. I can't take it. I'm getting, I'm getting like chills just trying to figure out what's in here. I, I can't wait to get home. We're not stopping on the gas station. We're going, both set on the way home. But it seems like everything we buy from Jake is a s extremely, not a, not a good deal, but it always turns out kind of, okay, well, I guess the general Lee was, you know what, I, even if today I knew what was going to happen, if cars were going to get all over me and this was going to, it was going to lead to crazy stuff, I would have still bought the general Lee. So general Lee was still a good buy. Um, this, who knows? The truck is in mint condition. I want to know what's inside that trailer though. If history repeats itself, it's something good. Truck pulled good, but who cares? I want to get to see what's in this. Ah, uh, what do we use to break open that lock? This should do it. Oh my gosh, dude. We got screwed. It's just junk. Are you kidding me? Nah, I'm joking. Oh, this is pretty sweet still. This is pretty sweet. I'm just joking. This is sweet. Dude, are you serious though? So there's two... Case International 235s. What year? I have no idea what years that these were made. He said the trailer's 1990. There's two of these in there. One's pulled all the way forward. That first one up there wasn't even strapped down. So that's why it was bouncing back and forth. But dude, how many... Wait, how many hours are on these? Five hours. Five hours on this one. It starts right off. Oh my gosh, dude. These are like classics too. Okay, so... I am going to be keeping these. There's no way we're selling these. You know what? Shoot. I got to figure out what I'm going to tell Jake. I don't know if I should. Jake's been really honest with us, though. Like, he's... I'm, I can't make up any lie. That, first of all, that would be unethical. And it's just like he's hes a good friend. Hmm. 
I have no idea. Let's see how many hours this one has. Two hours. Are you serious? You know what? I wonder how much money these would go for. I, I really... Oh, there's a lap... Oh, there's a laptop there, too. Oh, I can't imagine the things that could be on that laptop. Especially from 1990. That's got to be like one of the first ever laptops made. Maybe... Okay, so maybe this trailer has been used... Maybe this trailer was opened in the mid-2000s? It seems like that laptop does seem like it's... Okay, so it has a Farm Sim 17 sticker. But I know from my son playing that game. I think my son played that game. I'm pretty sure that game... I remember I bought it for him in 2016. And there's a Farm Sim 17 sticker on this laptop. So that means they were inside this laptop sometime in 2016 was the last evidence known of them being in this trailer and then they put the lock on two three years goes by boom i open it yeah if i gotta ask my son when farm sim 17 came out i have no idea i don't play stupid video games but anyways i think it was i think i bought it for him in 2016 but that wouldn't make sense because it's farm sim 2017 or it's farm sim 17 unless there's 17 versions of farm sim so they started with farm sim 1 farm sim 2 Farm Sim 3, so Farm Sim 4. I don't know if that's how they do it or what. Because I'm pretty sure I bought it. I know I bought it for them in the fall of 2017. Or fall of 2016. Yeah. Case International 235. Now, I did some research. And these, it looks like a lot of them were made in 1990. 19, there was some in 89, 87. I don't know exactly when the first year they made them. But I'd assume they're any, anywhere between 86 and 90. And 1990 or something like that. But I, I think I got to keep these. Now, I got to call up Jake and see. I got to call up Jake. It's just the honest thing to do. I mean, I was going to tell him, yeah, there were two cases. Two cases of beer or something. I don't know. Because I'm technically half telling him the truth. There's two cases. But uh, no. Uh, we got to be honest. I'll call him up right now. Hey, Jake. I just opened the trailer. Oh, yeah? You got it open? What, what, what was in it? Anything? Was your grandpa a big case collector? Yeah, yeah, he enjoyed him some red, remember. Well, I'm here looking at uh, two Case International 235 Garden Tractors. 35 horse, <laughs> two. One with five really? hours and one with two hours. That, see. Yeah. I, I don't remember those at all. Did he tell, huh. did, I wonder if your grandma even knows about this. I don't know, I'll have to ask her. Yeah, I don't remember those at all. But, well, I know part of the deal wasn't for me to, for you guys to have one, but I want you guys to have one of these. Oh, okay. I just, like, I don't know. I feel like it's only fair if I, if you guys have one of these, because I wasn't expecting something like this. So yeah. if you want, you can have the one with two hours or one with five hours, but I fired them up. They both seem to run. I'm personally going to probably use it around the farm. Well, I don't know if you want to use it around the farm or if your grandma wants to use it around the farm or just have it but if you guys want to have one of these feel free man okay yeah i appreciate it i'll uh i'll have to give her a call and let her know that those were in there and um i guess i can come down and pick one up uh yeah find the time if that's they're just all right. in the, they're just in the main shop feel free to stop on by whenever man all righty then huh. okay yeah, yeah I didn't know tell your grandma there. she'll freak out probably when she hears this but yeah it's crazy yeah i'm sure she'll have some story to tell with it yeah okay well I gotta, uh, I gotta keep working, so I'll see you later. Alrighty, see ya. See ya. Well, guys, I'm shutting down the shop for the day. I gotta put that back. I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna put this truck, but this is gonna be a good service truck to have. Seriously, I've always wanted an old Chevy. This is sweet. Uh, it looks nice, too. This Chevy body style, in my opinion, the dually with the service truck, looks like a really nice truck. It does. No, and, and I'm always making jokes about Chevys, but in all reality, like, all trucks... I, I love them for their different aspects of them, you know, but anyways guys, I'll see you later Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode if you did smash the like button and hey, thanks for watching guys. Yeah